to you. It's been so busy around this place because I'm renovating an office, so I'm really excited about that. <laughs> because today is something that I always make for myself and my family. It's very healthy, it's easy, and it's convenient. So it's all the things that I love, and that is overnight oats. If you're new to my channel, I just wanna thank you for coming on. And you know, if you like what you see, please subscribe. My subscribers that I have, I just wanna thank you too, cause I really appreciate it. It just warms my heart. Today, we are making one of my all time favorite things that I love to have in the fridge. I actually make these quite often. This is something that I use. It's just really convenient. I put all of mine, I use their 16 ounce mason jars. Like you can use wet jars, which you know, you know I love wet jars, but I love that it has a screw top on it. I can, you know, just screw on the top, it has a screw lid, and I can just bring it along with me. Cause there are times where, you know, I'm grabbing and going or whatever, and you know, in my family. And you know, it's funny, when I first started making these, you know, it was a little bit, the family was like, I don't know, but I noticed they would kind of leave my fridge and then I realized, you know what, they're enjoying them. So for me, I think this, this is a great recipe to do and offer. And you know, you can customize these to anything that you like. This is an individual size one. So what you need is a half a cup of oatmeal. Now I wouldn't be using the quick oats, just use the old fashioned oats. The quick oats, you can use them, but they'll be a little mushier. This, you want to add a half a cup of milk. Now, there's different types of milks. I'm going to use almond milk, like you got soy milk, dairy milk, flax milk. There's lots of types of milk. So whatever, you know, you are wanting to use, use it, it's fine. I love to um, sneak in some wholeness in ours, some goodness, and I think almond milk is really good. I'm not, um, my body doesn't exactly like dairy milk a lot and our family goes through dairy milk like there's there's no tomorrow so i do put this in so it's a half a cup of almond milk just put that in to that you want to add a quarter cup of greek yogurt you can use other yogurts of course it's you know it's your preference i will stick in plain yogurt here as well I happen to, you know, I usually have Greek yogurt and, um, you know, plain yogurt, vanilla yogurt, whatever in the house. But um, Greek yogurt, I, I tend to use a lot of with cooking and stuff like that. So I'm gonna use a quarter cup of Greek yogurt. Of course, I'm gonna be putting all the recipes in the description box. And to this, you wanna add a tablespoon of chia seeds. It creates pudding-like texture. I also interchange chia seeds with flax seeds. Either one is really good. To this, I'm just gonna add a pinch of salt, if that's optional. And then a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, and then to this, you are going to add one to two tablespoons of maple syrup. You can change this out with honey, of course. Um, I'll use one. That's it. I mean, how easy is that? So then, you know, you're just gonna stir it. And that's what I like about these jars too, because they don't make a mess. All you do is you put on the lid, screw it on, and you're going to refrigerate it. Minimum two hours or overnight. Overnight oats, they say that you can keep them five to seven days. They usually have like three days because the texture just does over time change. But three to four, you know, you're, you're fine there. The texture is very good and very consistent. If you want to do a four serving one, it's super easy. I just use my big mixing um, container. You're going to need two cups of oats and two cups of milk of your choice 
one cup of Greek yogurt. is again optional and then you need a quarter cup chia seeds or flat seed. I'm using chia seed. Oh sorry that is our little puppy. We have a puppy cowboy and then you're going to need a quarter cup of maple syrup. So then put that in. Mix it up. Put it, you know, just cover it, mix it up, put it in your fridge overnight, and then you have this ready to just scoop into containers um, or bowls. You can even heat them up, you know, heat up the oatmeal. Um, if you do that, you can just top it up with some of your favorite toppings. I'm going to show you a couple of, some of my absolute favorites. Like, I got a tropical cha cha. And it is amazing. I don't know, it's like a party in my mouth. It's terrible. I, I can't even believe how healthy it is because it just tastes, it just tastes delicious. That's it, you just cover this up uh, with wrap, put it in your fridge and overnight and it's good to go. The simple recipe because it's always the same. And then I add on my toppings. I had originally put some blackberries underneath you don't have to I just did um, I put a little a few blackberries there and then I want to you know add a little bit of crunch so I'm gonna put just, just sprinkle on some pistachios that tastes delicious with it add a couple more blackberries and you're good to go and this to me delicious this is amazing and it is so good <laughs> So anything you like, like if you love strawberries, which I do, but I have raspberries on hand, so I'm gonna be putting raspberries in. I happen to like raspberries with um, almonds, so I'm gonna just sprinkle on some almonds over it. And you can be as generous or not if you want. And then I'll just put, sprinkle a little bit of almonds on here. And I mean, that looks so delicious. <laughs> tastes good. Any kind of combination you want to make, you know, just do it. It tastes good. You can mix your berries if you want. I'll put a few more raspberries in there. I actually love fruit, so I don't mind loading up. I'm going to use a little bit of walnuts. I always like a crunch in my stuff. Very, very healthy breakfast. These are good options. And another thing is like sometimes, you know, it's late at night and you get a snack attack and you want to have something, grab one of these. It'll fill you up, it'll satisfy you. It's a good thing. Another all-time favorite is the peanut butter and jam overnight oat recipe. You start with, of course, your oats and your milk and you put in your quarter cup of yogurt. I'll be putting all the recipes um, down below in the description box. You can, of course, put maple syrup or honey with this. Add in two tablespoons of peanut butter along with two tablespoons of jam and then chill it for two hours or overnight. After that, bring it out of the fridge. You can enjoy it like that or top it off again with a little bit of jam or preserves and peanut butter with a little bit of nuts. Well, now we have our peanut butter and jam one and it's ready to go. And to add some interest, we're gonna be adding in here a little dollop, maybe on the top, you can put a little dollop of peanut butter and a little bit of your jam or preserves. And then of course you can top it off with, you know, any kind of nut. I use, you know, peanuts, which kind of makes sense to me. And then you're ready to go and it is absolutely delicious. And I'm gonna put a little bit of jam in there. For added crunch, put in some peanuts or walnuts. I just sprinkle a little bit on the top and then you got yourself a wonderful breakfast that is delicious. Of course, this is my all time favorite, pineapple cha-cha. Okay, 
so now I want to make my favorite. This is like so good. It's my tropical cha-cha. And yes, yeah, so I started with my main recipe. So I just put all mine in, I stirred it up. I'm gonna add to that a quarter cup of diced pineapple. Um, this is fresh pineapple. I dice it quite small. Um, I dice it quite small because I like to have little bite-sized pieces. And to that, you are going to add one tablespoon of unsweet coconut. I'm gonna be putting a lid on it and a screw band on it. It's ready for the fridge. Let's get it, pop it in. And now we have our, you know, the one that I refrigerated for the pineapple cha-cha. I'm just gonna take it out and then to it, you can add on toppings. You can eat it like this, it's delicious. And to this, you're just gonna add in your pineapple. You can sprinkle on for added crunch some almonds. And this is delicious. It is so filling and so good and very, very healthy for you. You could lie you so much time You could hurt But hurting's never gonna make it fine You could shake Try and shake it off all you can 